Welcome back to All Mine Ranch, your favorite desert off-grid homestead. I'm Ryan, you're Ryan, we are all Ryan. And in today's video, I'm going to show you my feeble attempts to turn a raggedy, ugly, unloved little patch of desert here on my property that looks something like this into something that looks a lot more like this. My goal is to create an attractive little oasis, something that will invite the wildlife in, give me a focal point so I can really enjoy the outdoors sitting on the deck of my tiny house. A calm little oasis that is a little more groomed and manicured and sculpted. Almost a year ago, my girlfriend and I went to the Tucson Botanical Garden in Tucson, Arizona, not too far from here. And I was absolutely blown away by all of the amazing cacti and succulents they had there. Thousands of variety of cactus, cacti that I had never ever seen before. Displayed in a way where everything was complimentary and the rocks were beautiful and it was well groomed, but yet it was completely surrounded by a harsh desert environment. And I was really inspired by that. So I'm going to, in this video, attempt to take what I saw at the Tucson Botanical Garden and bring it here to All Mine Ranch. Now the challenge is I don't have thousands of varieties of amazing cacti, but what I do have is some rock and some gravel and you know 22 acres of land that can provide materials to create a nice little setting. I do have a cute little ocotillo in the spot that I have picked out. There's already a bird bath there and a couple of bird feeders. So the nature has discovered this little spot and I've shown you some, some footage of that in previous videos. So I'm going to scour the area around my house and on my ranch and bring in elements that I think will take that kind of ugly, unloved, scraggly, sort of ratty looking little patch of desert and make it look better. One other little element to it is that I am going to be creating walking trails all throughout the 22 acres that I have here. And this area right outside of my deck is going to be the starting point for one of those walking trails. Or maybe it's the finish point, depending on which route you take. But that's part of it too. The area comes right up against a small wash or a, sort of a miniature creek that I have to hop over. So in the future, I'm thinking about maybe building a bridge, but it is gonna be the start of like a trailhead. So I've got to incorporate that too. Maybe a little sign that says trail starts here. I don't know. Let's just see what I can come up with. guys I've made some good progress but I was in such a rush I forgot to film a bunch of it but what I did is notice how clean that looks notice how rough that looks that's just from raking a little bit so that's what I did over in my area I simply raked this little path right here got out the big sticks got out the rocks bigger than say a golf ball and just raked this out and you can see right here, it's unraked, ungroomed, and here just has raking and a little gravel. So notice right here, this is the area that is gonna be the start of my trailhead. I have not groomed it, I've not raked it, I haven't done anything. 
But in here, I did. I raked it and I brought in about 10 loads of gravel and I just spread it in here very quickly, if you can see that. And I brought in some of these bigger rocks that had been lining my property further out that way. And I just kind of sat them around the edge. So I made good progress and it looks a lot better, but it's now the hard part begins. So this is just kind of gray, ugly rock. It's filled with sticks and debris and years worth of, you know, plant droppings. And I got a bird feeder in here. I got a couple of cool plants. But bottom line is my improvements I'm going to start making on this now, you just get less bang for your buck visually. But I'm going to start cleaning up this rock, hauling some of it out, bringing in some bigger, nicer rocks of larger size, which is a lot of work. Got these big boulders here. Well, small boulders. I'm going to figure out how to place them and then I'm going to get some more gravel that's a little more attractive and mix it in here. And then I've got to come up with a plan for the plants, but that's more long term. So I'm going to keep going and film it this time and uh, we'll see how it goes. Good looking rock. That was hard work. I'm huffing and puffing. I got a load of rocks here. It's the same rocks I used around my main house to try to keep the rats from burrowing under. So I'm going to start to spread it in here. I don't have a plan, but I'll figure it out. Okay, I think we need at least one more load, probably two or three more loads of rock. It's really hard on the back, but got no choice. It's what I have to do. Okay, I got another load of rock. It's incredibly hard work. It's going in there all around here, but that's back breaking. It's got to be 400 pounds and I have to pull it about 150 yards, 200 yards up an incline <laughs> to get it here. Crazy. still need to arrange it and tamp it down a little bit but we're looking a little better I think overall not quite so scraggly but you know I may be halfway done
Got to flatten it out so it doesn't look like I just did it <laughs> today. And now, in here, I'm going to bring in some of the red gravel and uh, we'll see how much of a, a difference it makes. All right, guys, well, I've been going for about 90 minutes straight. I'm pretty tired to haul that shoveling and hauling, but you can see what a difference it makes. All I did was rake it, bring in the bigger gravel, which was actually the stuff we used to backfill the septic tank before I bought the property. So that's what's out in the leach field around the septic tank. Had a whole lot of extra left. So I cleaned up this rock, got out some of the debris, put in the bigger rock, brought in a couple of small boulders, and then I'm bringing the red gravel that just got delivered yesterday. And I'm just bringing it up to the edge to make a more obvious to find border. And it just makes a huge difference. So uh, I'm gonna slow down. It's been a long day. I'm about exhausted. Keep saying I'm done for the day, but then I keep working, just finding little spots that need some TLC, like down here at this corner where it starts the entrance to the trail. So I just keep finding more rocks and keep bringing more gravel. Eventually I'll hit my exhaustion point, but I'm pretty happy with my progress in just a few hours. Hey guys, it's the next day and I am beat. Okay, I've got three issues out there. One is there's a tan drain pipe running right through the scene. I would really like to do something about that. Uh, the second one is I just don't have any real color or any cacti or plants out there with color to make things pop. It's all very scrubby, it's ugly. It's, you know, everything's brown this time of year and withered. There's no leaves, there's no greenery. So I need some better looking plants if I really want that area to look more attractive. And third, I have some ugly gray cement blocks that I'm using as a step down onto the land from my deck. I want to replace that with something that's gonna blend in a little bit better. So I'm gonna to try to tackle those, uh, the steps in the pipe issue, make that a mini project, mini projects within the project. So let's see if I can improve on that. Okay, not to be judgy, but these gray blocks are kinda ugly. Not that these are much better, but at least the, the color is a little bit more of a match. So let's get these out of here, let's place these, and maybe I'll make a little trail over the pipe, which is another thing that I've got to figure out, because as you can see, it runs all the way down here, 
out to my creek and it's just too visible so help <laughs> okay out with the old and in with the new my back's getting tired too man too much work these last few days <laughs> these cement blocks are heavy I brought these all the way out from Dallas too. <laughs> Crazy me. Okay, that's the last one. Well, I'm not sure that's much of an improvement, to be honest with you. They're stacked very high. They are reddish. They blend in a little bit better. But I'm not sure I like the height or the arrangement. I didn't think it would take so many to get it to a high enough level. Maybe I can build up underneath it or hide one big gray one under the gravel under it, perhaps, to bring it up. I'm not sure. I'll live with it for a couple days and see what I think. Okay. Enough of that. <laughs> what I did is I rerouted the pipe ever so slightly, actually closer to its original position, and I took one section out. So there's only two sections that are visible. It ends right there, which is actually better because the water, I just tested it, the water is going to flow over here. And I've decided that in this area, which is kind of open and highly visible from my loft window up here, I'm looking straight down on this area right here. And I think it needs a big agave or a cactus or something right there. So if I'm careful about what, you know, what is my gray water, what's in it, it can provide irrigation for a plant that'll be right there. So I'm just going to let it be like that for now, propped up on these rocks and blocks. It's not perfect, but I think I'm going to extend my deck soon just by a couple of feet as well for more space and that'll cover part of the pipe too. I'm gonna to call that a temporary victory and completion. There's a few hundred pounds of rocks that are a little more attractive. Maybe that'll help. And while I was out getting rocks, I also picked up a couple of other things, something like this. All right, guys, I said I needed some plants. Well, guess what? Boom, boom, boom. I got some plants and it only took an arm and a leg and a small fortune invested at Home Depot. I've got some really cool succulents. I got some lavender. I got some yellow flowers that the bees have already found. Careful, Stanley, don't get yourself bit. I got some purple. I got some fire plant. I got some barrel cactus. I got some agaves. I got some succulents. So I'm really excited about that. But here's the issue. I don't know if we're gonna get another freeze or frost uh, this winter. It's 73 and gorgeous right now, but we could drop below freezing. And if I replant these plants out here in my area, which I'm really looking forward to, I have no guarantee they're gonna survive. So I've gotta get online and do some research, um, but I've got this area looking significantly better. And boom, I've got these amazing rocks that I just invested in those are gonna get placed as well. So let me do a little placing and show you what that's gonna look like. All right, you ready for the big reveal? I put plants out here, pops of color. I'm gonna get off camera. Just walk around and show you what it could potentially look like.
All right, well, I'm really happy with the way this came out. Everything is just sort of placed temporarily. I've got to hop online, do research, really understand how to transplant these plants and when temperature wise is safe. So uh, make sure you like and subscribe because not only, not only am I going to do the final reveal of this whole area, <clears throat> but I have some other projects to make it really nice. I've got a few things on order from Amazon. One of those is a trail cam so I can catch wildlife and the deer that come into this area. Um, I got a drone coming so you can see it from the air. Right out here is the start of the trailhead and I'm going to start doing the trail out into the desert. And that's going to be a whole series of videos too, um, showing you how I create a trail system out here. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to buy a bunch of flagstone and some river rock and put it down in here, break up the flagstone into small pieces so that it has, you know, a, a nice little walkway that leads out into this area. Um, so make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So long. And that's where the trail goes. Yonder. <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear?